What's up YouTube? Ben back again. We're gonna call this Friday Night Cards. Shout out to Iska Fan. Um, he used to do these a little bit and um, I wish I could do it live but uh, my internet's too slow. So we're gonna rip this while we're here. If we got time. We'll rip the couple packs of these. Um, I can't remember if I've showed these cards so forgive me if I have. I finally got them all together in one place. Um, <clears throat> one of my little side projects I've been working on off and on, I'll, these cards don't pop up much, is um, I was born sort of near Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And um, in 1910, they, um, the T209, and I'm probably saying this wrong, Content Nia. And then the Old Mill Cigarettes did sets that had the Winston-Salem, I believe, twins. Because uh, it was called the Twin City because it was basically two cities merged together. That's why you have Winston and Salem all together in one title. They used to be separate. But anyway, um, so far, from the 1910 T209 Content Nia... I only have one card so far, and these things are rare as hen's teeth, as my daddy would say. Um, they're not cheap usually, and they're just really hard to find. I really like this pre-war stuff, graded by SGC. I can't remember this guy's first name, but his last name was King. You see, it's a real photo. King Winston-Salem. These cards weren't numbered, and here is the back. Just these things are cool. Um, there's a few are that there's a site that sort of covers these a little bit, and and the these old mills. Um, these are all old mill cigarettes from 1910, T210s, and I have five of those so far. One of them, uh, here it is. That's the first one. Um, Iska fan mentioning him again uh, sent this one into SGC for me quite a while back and I really did not expect it to come back at a 4.5 that's Reyes Rees I don't I'm not sure and I can't like I said I can't always remember these guys first names there's the front and old mill cigarettes on the back that's a pretty clean card to be oh, at 108 years old uh, we got Painter. Mm -hmm. This one's, speaking of his caffeine, he just texts me. Uh, Painter, this one's got a lot of wrinkles if you can see it. And it's great at a one. But with these guys, you're just happy to find them. I don't know if that smudge is what that's on. Here's the back of that one. Um, McKevitt, I think this one had different spellings between this set and this set. I think he was in both. Uh, one of them that sort of looks like McKeevitt. There is a close-up of that. That is also a poor one. It's not as wrinkled up as the other. And that still has a price tag on it. And I did not give that for it, actually. Worked them over a little bit. Um, next is Gilmore. Um, and it's graded a 1.5. And these guys were from Series 5 of that set. Uh, for some reason, I think this is the only one that's labeled. No, and this was one of the newer slabs. So they labeled it Series 5, but they must have quit doing it somewhere along the line and then started again. And then last I have the T210 Feral is his name. And that is a 1.5. It's got a crease up here. Rounded corners and all. That's how them cards are supposed to look to me. But uh, I keep a search set, but I, for, I forget to look sometimes. And uh, But I do have five from that set. It seems like I need, I don't remember, another seven or eight or more. I can't remember exactly. And I need a pretty good bit for this set. And I'm not even sure if I'll ever finish that one. Iska fan, I'm not ignoring you. Oh, okay. Nothing too major there. Glanced real quick. Let's go into this. 
Where is my knife? 2018 Heritage, this is a Wally World box or Walmart. Um, that's all I have near me. I don't have a Target. Nearest Target's probably 45 minutes away, 30, 45 minutes. And that's haul and tail to get there. I always liked Heritage um, since I started collecting again about 2012. Um, I did when when that stuff was coming out. I was putting sets together and stuff, but it just got out of hand. And um, I would like to go back and do Cubs team sets or something. But anyways, so I don't know, which I guess a lot of people don't quite know yet. I don't know anything about the variations or any of that stuff. But we'll look at them. They look nice. They clam. Rookie Stars, DeGrom, Cargo, Danny Duffy, Gary Sanchez, McCutcheon, and Springer. Let's see here. 50. Usually the above 400 is usually short prints, right? Hoping my power don't go out. We're having really, really high winds. I think that might be the short SP. A light blinked over there on the other side of the room. Some people on the other side of my county are out of power. Strowman, Sonny Gray, Tim Anderson, Carlos Santana, Freddie Freeman, Trey Turner, Glasnow. Let's see here. Might not be nothing in that pack. I can't tell unless there's a variation. But I always like to at least open a blaster or two. I used to put the base sets together and all that junk, but it's just too crazy to do now. Jim Palmer, Corey Kluber. Hmm. I don't know if they have different colored backs or anything in this stuff. Oh, that was a then and now, but that's not a huge insert. I guess that's what was in that pack. You guys see a variation or something? Comment. Byron Buxton. He was, he's on the back. He's from Baxley, Georgia. I went to high school in Alma, Georgia, the next town over. But I never knew who he was. But I had some family that lived down there was talking about him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pool Holson and Scherzer and there's Buxton. Four oh five, that's probably an SP. Is it above four twenty five or above four hundred? I think it's a whoops. Above four hundred. If I remember right. I would like to halfway collect Buxton, but he's kind of on the expensive side for me, so Nemo Vato. Chapman, DeJong, Maurer, Rodney, Martin Maldonado, and there's a judge with Sanchez. Wonder if he's going to be as hot this year. Does anybody think the Yankees have bought themselves a World Series? We'll see. I was excited to see Darvish in the Cubs uniform. I've always been a fan of his anyway. Gardner, Abreu, Mickey Betts, New Age Performers, Astros, and we'll finally get a Cub. I think that's the only one I've noticed so far. Let's see if we had that New Age Performer, so that should be in that pack. I can't run real, real long with the videos because my internet sucks. A TV Ichiro. And we have a Bellinger. I think it's one of the rub offs or something. That's cool to have it in something. That's cool. Potences. Rookies. Center guard. Gordon. Gordon. 
it's pretty cool they put it in a little sleeve I guess so it won't stick to nothing else Michael Taylor Alex Wood Andrew Miller go in Mark Reynolds we get anything in here 400 Carlos Gomez maybe he's an SP no that's 419 I'll set them there just in case you guys can let me know how it runs this year wow one Cubs card that's all I noticed sounds like my daughter's tearing the house up upstairs so guys keep commenting on the videos because I am going to do a drawing give some stuff away so comment so you can win something or I can send you a package try to send you something from my collection that might fit yours we're doing a 91 Bowman that guy's our gum card I don't think I pulled a chipper or Tome, Thome, I don't know how you say it. I never always screw that guy's name. Look, that's got a themed corner. Out of the whole first box, I did Dave Parker. Ruben Sierra. I remember when his cards were the thing when I was a kid. Willie Ainsley. Not too much in that pack. So I might try to do a little bonus video on Friday nights, maybe show my pickups if I have any, and uh, all that stuff. Gun card. I've got a wand gone. Let's go ahead and stick that on the front since we've seen that card always looked funny to me like it was painted or something. You guys know? It's the way his face looks. Juan gone. Anybody else in here? It looks like a Mattingly coming up there. I guess I could set a, the Juan gone aside. Carl Everett. He's been pretty lackluster. I hope I didn't get some gone through boxes. I wouldn't think it would be worth it, but you never know from back in the day. There's a Colin Powell, Eric Davis, Gary Sheffield, Aaron, there you go, your boy. He, he used to sign TTM. I got him to sign a Desert Storm card. I'll set that aside. Um, but that's been years ago. I don't know if he still will. If you look back on some of my really old Matt Williams videos, you might see that. Um, well, the Bowman was pretty unexciting again. The Colin Powell, Eric the Red, Gary Sheffield, one gone, and Mattingly. I mean, a few stars, but not what we're looking for. So anyway guys, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. Um, I said I want to put out more videos just for the heck of it. I enjoy doing them. Uh, I'm going to pick my collecting up back a little bit. I had to take a little break and all, but uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I need to quit saying um. Um. But, uh, yeah, uh, maybe we'll do this every Friday if we can. We'll see. Um, I've been really busy. I had a, here's another knife sheath I built. Um, how many, I built, uh, one, two, three, four, five since the last one I showed. I still need to put the finish and stuff on these. You can see my maker's mark there but uh these are all handmade hand sewn have considered getting a sewing machine 
but I need to slick up the edges and finish these. Uh, guy ordered eight from me. He makes knives, but uh, I did get what else? Uh, silence that. And I got to make them all pretty much the same. He liked that style, so I did goof up on two, and I got these glued up. I had to do this first so I can sew them. But uh, anyway, you guys might not care about that. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll get some more videos up soon. Uh, I might leave Friday night to either do a break or show my mail, like do more than one pack or something. Do a blaster or whatever I got. We'll throw something together there. But uh, keep collecting everybody. See you later. Take care.